So today we as church, we celebrate the dedication of the Lateran Basilica in Rome. And our readings are really focused on the first reading, which comes to us actually from Ezekiel. As I was preparing for this homily and I was reading that first reading, I thought for sure, because I don't always read what book it comes from, I said, oh, this is from the book of Revelation. You know, I don't know if you've ever noticed the correlation between the book of Revelation and Ezekiel, but it just hit me about 10 minutes before Mass that it was not a, the book of Revelation. But I want to encourage you, as we read this first reading, to maybe take this with you and pray with this particular first reading from Ezekiel. But I want you to think about your relationship with Jesus and putting yourself, possibly even your name, there where you see the word, the temple. And I think this can bring us some depth in our own personal prayer. And the reason I say this is because we see that there's this water that's flowing forth from the temple, right, in this first reading. And what is this water doing? It's providing life. It's providing nourishment for the trees. It's allowing there to be, and, and, and I love how the, the, the first reading, it says, it says there's not just fish, but there's what? There's an abundance of fish. Think about that in terms of how we're striving to live as disciples. You see, what we're called to do, what we're called to be, is to let our faith be so incredibly profound and so deep that others can see it. And so we should be as disciples walking in our own relationship with Jesus, but also walking with others. And so I want to encourage you, taking this first reading, doing some Lexio with it, seeing if there's any particular words that pop out to you that can really help to feed you in your personal prayer. Our gospel today, you know, I, I crack up about this gospel sometimes. I don't know if y'all struggle with road rage. I do, okay? And so sometimes when I struggle with road rage, I think about Jesus driving people out of the temple, right? And so it reminds me that Jesus felt every single emotion, right? But he had a reason for that. Because the people, the, the money changers, they were in that court of the Gentiles where the Gentiles would have went to ask questions, to in a sense be catechized, to in a sense learn more about um, what it was to be Jewish and what the Jewish teachings were. And so Jesus found it rather offensive that they're doing what? That they're exchanging money, that they're selling things here. And so I find that sometimes in those moments where my, my anger might get the best of me, I know we all have those moments, y'all. I'm just letting you know, like it doesn't mean it's okay, but Jesus was fully human too, okay? He's fully human and divine. And so it really helps me to recognize and to see that Jesus felt every emotion that we as humans still feel. And so today, as we come together as a family, we are reminded that each and every one of us is called to be a temple of the Holy Spirit through the waters of baptism, through the laying on of hands, and the sacrament of confirmation. And so we're called to also live what it means to be a disciple of Jesus, allowing others to to grow in their relationship with Jesus by walking with them, by helping them to go and grow in their relationship with Jesus. And so I'm going to invite you to bow your heads as we pray this morning, y'all. Lord Jesus, thank you for this day, for this opportunity to come here, to allow your word to speak to us. Lord, I love this first reading in which you really just give us that image of the water flowing forth from the temple and how that water provides freshness to that salty water and how there's not just a little bit of fish, Lord, but there's that overabundance of fish. Lord, I would ask that, that you help us not to just live life in a very normal way, but to live life abundantly, Lord, abundantly relying on your grace, abundantly relying on your presence, abundantly, abundantly continuing to grow in that faith, that love, that trust of you, Jesus. Lord, we thank you for the gift of faith. We ask that you would just send forth your Holy Spirit, Lord, to stir in our hearts that desire to make disciples, that desire to be a disciple ourselves. Jesus, we love you. We praise you. We pray all of this today in your holy and sacred name.